So I'm with fishing guru Mike Raber. He's got a great advantage over old people like myself, which is the fact that he's young and he understands technology. So Mike's gonna use a uh, hummingbird Helix 12s here and show us some basics about how to read these graphs, side imaging and, and sonar and so forth, help make you a better fisherman. All right, so first thing, you know, looking at side imaging, uh, in the winter time, graphing these fish is really important before you start catching them. And there's not a whole lot of fish to be shown here, but one thing to notice, you see on the left side of the screen, you have a lot brighter return. Um, and on the right side of the screen, you know, it's a lot darker. That bright return is a hard bottom. Uh, so when those the sonar hits, or in this case, the side imaging sonar, when it hits that harder bottom, it's going to return a little bit sharper just like that. Um, so you're going to get that coloration to it. Okay, so here we are, you know, we're looking at a side imaging picture. We're kind of just going across this big mud flat with some bait around. Um, and to break it down for you, you can see these smaller white dots with the black signatures underneath them. And those black signatures are actually shadows. Um, and so you know that those are fish, definitely smaller fish. Uh, but you can even tell kind of the distance from the bottom just by looking at that side imaging picture. Uh, and also here on the left, you see these spots laying off a little bit, but you can see those shadows. And that's how you know that those are fish because they're actually still leaving that signature. Um, even though it's not super sharp, a lot of times when those fish get farther out on your side imaging, that's how they'll look. I um, mean, it's important to know that that is still a fish. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, it's a lot of small signatures, but off, you know, roughly 20 feet, 30 feet to the side of the boat, we're in 23 feet of water. Now that's just a ball of smaller fish, you know, in this case, most likely shad. Um, or, uh, you know, since Andy showed us what's out there, it could be rock bass as well. But, oh, but you right. can see, you know, those fish are pretty tight to the bottom. Um, you know, and and uh, you can see there's at least 30 to 40 bodies there. So, you know, it's a smaller fish. All right. So getting in the boat this morning, the first thing I did, this chart speed was down at five. And for me, I know I've talked to a lot of people before who, you know, believe that the speed of the chart is the speed of the boat and that has nothing to do with it so i constantly on the front graph i will do this at least i turn that all the way up to 10 because i want that feed on the bottom replenishing as quickly as possible you know if there's new information if there's a fish underneath my boat i would like to know that um i don't want it to slip by and you can see right here one there's a signature coming up that's just off the bottom um but you know then looking at you know the the options the sensitivity and contrast is something you have to get into on your own boat um for here, you know, it's pretty open water. I didn't, I didn't mess with it much. Um, I just wanted to crank that chart speed up so I could really tell what was going on, um, and then it happens quicker. And I think that's the biggest mistake. You know, people don't, especially in the winter, don't have a constant eye on their electronics. And this is what's telling you. You know, I mean, they tell you what's on the bottom. And this time of year, you don't often come across one or two fish like you may in the summer. You know, normally if you come across fish, there's at least enough of a school there that you, you can catch a substantial amount. Um, and and for, you know it's just you have to pay attention that's that's the key okay so now you see the same situation if you look down in this area here you can barely see a signature on the bottom that's a smallmouth laying in the mud um, and right here you've got some bait that's up and suspended uh, it's not a hard signature so you can kind of tell it's pieced together I mean you can see one here and that looks like a small ball of bait here and what you want to look for when you fish deep in the winter time is you want the bait above the fish um, and in a situation where that's not happening typically the bite is, is brutal uh, and suspended fish I mean everybody knows suspended fish are tough but if you can keep the fish on the bottom the bait above the fish I mean normally that's the recipe for success that's a that's not a whole lot to explain but it is a monster wad of fish I mean you can so if you really look at this right here you know it just looks like a bunch of different colors what you can see is if you look at the you know individual those hard red spots i mean those are individual signatures so those hard red spots are where the sonar is getting the hardest return so that's the center of a fish so i mean you can kind of go through a school like that and get a rough idea of how many fish there actually are there and uh, yeah i mean there's a big group there what do you think they are uh i mean they, they do kind of have the consistency of bass being that tight to the bottom but uh i mean they're large you know it's definitely not a bunch of bait fish so i don't know a couple casts can tell at that point yeah. All right, so we're coming through here and you can see, you know, these bumps here along the bottom. I mean, those are actually smallmouth laying in the bottom. You know, it's hard to tell that, but that, those little bumps are really what you're looking for. And up here, these are just smaller little pods of bait. Now you'll see this signature here, that signature there. Those are larger fish as well, but those smaller marks up above are either very small bass 
or uh, or you know little pods of shad that are kind of roaming around and you know that because they're elevated above those fish um, and those smallmouth kind of just lay in wait. What'd you see? What do you see there? All right well you can see here I mean we've got some fish laying on the bottom and that's really typical this time of year it's it's yeah, as you can see 36 degree water uh, it's as cold as it gets before it freezes and those fish and hopefully we can show you today but those fish will lay on the bottom they'll actually have mud on their bellies um, and uh, yeah I mean that's just a surefire sign those fish are down there it's winter time it's not uh, not a fall transition anymore so let's hope you get on them but it's only December 8th yeah only December 8th in northern Indiana so you know <laughs> that's uh, that's that's definitely winter time Giant, dude, giant. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm about to carry fry this thing. Look out. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Fried. Yes, sir. That's what we've been waiting for right there, yeah, boy. Man. Grind out there deeper. Those fish are definitely after these shad, and uh, I think it's going to take both of us going after them to get some more like this. 